name's Sam. Um, thought I'd do a quick little pickups video um, over the stuff I've kind of gotten over maybe the past eight months. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll get into the first item. Um, I guess, yeah, here's the first item headwear, which is the Our Legacy. I guess it's just like a gray beanie. I think it's made out of llama wool. Um, this is kind of like my only beanie that I've got at the moment. Um, only really, you know, wear them during winter because it's just too hot. Um, I guess that's partly some of the things that, you know, I've got in pickups. It's like I can only wear them for a couple months of the year um, just because it's too hot in Australia. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. I really like the texture of like the llama wool um, and the colour as well. Kind of just like trying to get away from just like black um, knits and things like that. So yeah, it's a pretty cool um, item that, yeah. I'm super keen to wear, probably give it another five months before I'm able to wear it, but yeah, keen to do that. All right, next item is my Our Legacy uh, suit or scarf, flower scarf. Um, this is probably my favorite pickup over the past couple months. Um, yeah, I just absolutely love the colors. Um, yeah, over the past couple months, it's probably been my most worn item. Um, yeah, just because it's so hot in here in Australia that you there's you know barely anything you can wear. Layering is not an option. It's either a light shirt or a t-shirt, um, and even like pants most of the time can be too hot. Um, so yeah, this is yeah one thing that I've kind of been wearing yeah basically every weekend or every time I'm kind of dressing up a little bit is yeah just wearing it. I usually wrap it up kind of like a bandana um, and use it as a yeah scarf around my neck. Yeah, it just adds a little bit to the outfit. Um, and I think the colors, especially pairing with all my other other kind of pieces that I own as well, it kind of, yeah, um, yeah, fits in really nicely. So you can see the kind of patterns along there. Um, next item is just this Our Legacy uh, uh, keychain, leather keychain, um, yeah, just kind of like a simple you know thing as I said yeah there's not many things you can do to kind of layer an outfit so adding kind of accessories um, to like your pants and things like that is kind of like the only way to go when it's so hot um, so yeah here is the leathers yeah a nice fat calf yeah cow grain leather um, but yeah, I haven't even really worn this too much, to be honest, because I don't have fucking keys to wear, so um, there's no even real point onto that. All right, moving on to shoes. Here we have some Our Legacy Parade Derbies. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with these shoes because of how much of a pain in the ass it was to get them. Um, I don't know if anyone else has experienced this before from international, but um, I ended up buying these from our Lexi online. Um, and yeah, that's the biggest headache for me is that ordering shoes online because I just don't know about the sizing. Um, I, had, I have a few pairs of Camion Mules um, and I guess, and, you know, a few other leather shoes. Um, and I usually wear 42s in sneakers and 41s in dress shoes. And on the websites and sizing guides, they said, you know, size down, which is what I did. So I stayed at 41 just to be sure. Um, and still they were too big. So I ended up having to go with a 40. Um, but yeah, sending back the shoes, I had to pay like 80 bucks postage and then they got stuck in customs for three months and only just got them but what I did end up doing is well luckily I ended up just getting them from another website I think in New Zealand or something like that and they were already on sale so I kind of made up my money um the biggest things with these I was kind of going back and forth I had been wearing like uh, loafers for so long um and I yeah really wanted to kind of get an, a derby because I just think that you know the toes um well, when you're showing, when you got long pants, it's just, yeah, much cleaner look. 
um, and I had, I guess, previously been wearing Doc Martens. I guess, you know, it's a good starter derby, but I think I had almost worn them for six years, so they were kind of cracking in the leather. Um, and yeah, just they were just in shit condition. Um, the reason why I was kind of going back and forth on these was because of different photos and it was kind of hard to find. I didn't see any videos on people making about them. Um, I kind of was wanted a bit of a chunkier derby. Um, and I guess from all the photos, they were kind of looking quite slim, like a, you know, Oxford um, derby, which is, yeah, like a, a thinner sole. So, um, yeah, when I ended up getting my hands on the 41, they even still did look too slim. Um, and yeah, obviously wanting a chunkier derby, but um, I think with a lot of shoes that sizing down the silhouette kind of makes it look a bit chunkier. Um, just bringing, you know, the just being in a smaller size, um, the, the sole kind of stays the same thickness. So I guess it gives that illusion of looking a bit thinner. Um, I also had the idea of taking these to a cobbler because yeah, they're obviously just a leather um, bottom. So I was gonna get them taken, you know, put well, put a thing on there just so they'd um, last a bit longer. But I asked them also to, um, on the front, um, add a couple mils. So I think it's a four mil um, uh, cover on the bottom. So it even tapers in at the bottom. So I was really happy on how, how that came out because it does add a bit of um, thickness to the, stop, the sole. So I think it kind of, um, yeah, makes it a little bit, well, yeah, personally, I enjoy it a little bit more. Um, because yeah, I was looking, the leather also is like, you know, a bit shinier. Um, and I was looking at going back and forth between the, uh, Trampler, I think the Our Legacy Derby, um, but I wasn't super keen on the crinkles of the leather. Um, I'll see if I can insert a photo um, on how those look, cause they've got the Vibram sole, but, um, yeah, I just wasn't a huge fan of the leather. And if, I guess they came out with. Um, something like that with a you know similar leather to this then it could be the move but yeah for now I think yeah I'm super happy with these and um, yeah I've been wearing these basically yeah every day all right the next piece that I have got is the our legacy sailor trouser um, I, for me personally I think it's funny how you know, the most simple pieces are kind of the hardest to find, e.g. a black set of pants. Um, yeah, these are super interesting. I think the um, material kind of makes it um, different. And, you know, I've gotten a few compliments mainly from old people why I haven't um, ironed my pants. But yeah, because you can see the kind of wrinkles and things that come through there. Um, I think that kind of gives it an interesting texture. Um, and yeah, it just makes it look a little bit different from other kind of suit pants and things like that. Um, they're also super light, so I've actually been able to wear them um, through through summer when I'm kind of like dressing up. Um, only kind of gripe about these is that the waistband is um, elasticated, so I mean that wouldn't be an issue if they fit me, but I do belt these a little bit um, higher up my waist, so um yeah they've got belt loops but um it's kind of whack i'll see if i can yeah add a, a video of it when i yeah do some b-roll or something but um the when you belt it around your waist the actual back sags so the front of your pants sit up and then the back falls down so i mean i think i'll get the sewing machine out and maybe put some belt loops on there um and yeah hopefully that will fix the issue but other than that like um super happy about yeah the rest of it the they yeah fit really nicely i guess i've been wearing them every time i wear them i'm wearing them with the parade derbies so um yeah that's another pickup all right next pickup is the our legacy box t-shirt or boxy t-shirt um yeah these these um t-shirts are like by far my favorite i ended up yeah i was lucky enough to go on a trip to london um and i was actually able to visit the our legacy store so i guess yeah you can see a kind of a common theme throughout the rest of the 
the pickups is that there's a lot of our legacy, but um, I had a few pieces before, um, in like with the a couple cameo mules, but when you actually get to kind of feel and actually see the stuff um, in person, um, yeah, it just kind of gives you like another perspective. Um, I had the, the white one for a while, um, and I was just like, when I, I think this came on sale, so um, I was like, I just need the black one um, to kind of fit, and I think, um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I think one thing that's kind of different from a lot of another new, like t-shirts nowadays is that the collar is like quite thin. Um, I know a lot of, you know, kind of boxier um, vintage looking tees are kind of leaning towards that thicker collar um, around the neck or ring it around the neck. Um, but yeah, this kind of makes it, yeah, look a bit different. All right, next pickup, I have the Alexi long sleeve parachute top. Um, yeah, this is one thing that I think over the next year, um, what next kind of like, yeah, new pickup things and um, things I'll be keeping my eye out for is long sleeve t-shirts. Um, yeah, this one's a super interesting one. Um, this one kind of just is a bit longer, goes over my hands. Um, but the collar is super interesting as well. I think it's kind of hard to find or see on camera, but I'll see it, yeah, insert a video of me wearing it to kind of see around the, the liner. Um, when it came, when I, um, yeah, when I ended up picking out the box, um, and I did see on the photos and things like that, the, the back, um, kind of where it's got this like slit here, the back kind of draped a little bit longer than the front. Um, which I guess I wasn't super keen on, so I just ended up getting the sewing machine out and just adjusting it. So it's just the same length as the front. I um, kind of did a choppy job, but um, you know it'll get the job done, I reckon. So um, yeah, that's the parachute um, long sleeve from our legacy. Uh, next pickup is a shirt from. Yoji Yamamoto. Um, I was lucky enough to get this secondhand um, over when I went to London. Um, I think this shirt is so cool because it just is like loaded with details. Um, everything, yeah, just so different to just a regular dress shirt. Um, I guess a few things that you can point out is the pop, like the double pockets. Um, and also it's kind of hard to see, I guess, unless you're wearing it, but the layering as well, the collar or each side comes through and there's a, it's kind of thinner through here and you can kind of see it, which adds texture um, throughout the front, um, which is, yeah, you can see it's folded uh, rather than stitch, where it's stitched back or glued back. Um, also there's pleating on the stitches um, you can kind of see through here, it's a bit of a like balloony fit, um, which kind of tapers towards a sleeve, um, with the pleat, um, but yeah, just a regular pleat through the back, um, but yeah, nice like white t-shirt, and I guess, yeah, just able when you're dressing up, just adds that, um, bit of extra, um, yeah, kind of thing to your outfit, so yeah, kind of keen to wear that. Unfortunately, I don't really end up dressing up too much with shirts. Um, and I guess what's annoying is that, um, also, um, yeah, too scared to wear it out because I know that there's a very high chance that I'm gonna get red wine on it or something like that, so, yeah. All right, the final pickup. All right, what we have here is a Jill Sander boiled wool knit crew or sweater. Um, yeah, just simple of simple. I think that I've kind of gone towards, um, I think, you know, when I want to buy something like a, a black sweater, um, I just want it to be as plain as possible. I, I've, this is probably my oldest pickup that I've had out of all this thing, all of these things, but it's just so, so hot. 
that uh, there's literally only a few situations um, that I can wear it because I'm just like just gonna sweat too much and you know it's kind of a bit hard to get on and off. Um, it's actually really interesting. It kind of looks like a bit of like a polar fleece. Um, see if you can see the kind of texture. Um, but it's finished off. Um, yeah, one of my favorite details as well. It's just like the neckline as well, um, which is yeah, sits super super tight around your neck. Um, but um, yeah, just that very simple um, knit. Um, that yeah, another piece that I'm kind of keen to wear um, throughout winter when it kind of cools down. Um, the only thing is, um, well, the only kind of yeah gripe I have about this is that uh, the length. I wasn't a hundred percent sure when I got it, and I kind of sat on it for a while. Um, I'm still yeah keen to wear it, but um, it is a little bit longer. I wouldn't say it's like a cropped um, silhouette, like it does kind of sit. Um, a little bit below your waistline depending on how you wear it if it's you know if it falls straight it's definitely below but i guess you know you could wear like a belt or some you know thicker pants it kind of sits up on that um but yeah not keen on wearing that throughout or when it throughout winter when it kind of cools down a bit so um yeah kind of nice cozy knit cool that's all my pickups done um thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video